Hi. Now, for this part of the question, we are asked to work out the probability of C, which was the event that Z lies between minus 1.5 and 1.5. And as you can see, the answer is 0.866 to three significant figures. So I'll take you slowly through this one, but as usual, you might want to fast forward to see the solution quickly. So we start off then by drawing our standardized normal distribution, and we're looking for the probability of being between minus 1.5, just put that in there, and 1.5 here. So there's kind of symmetry about this, okay? We're looking at this area here. And the way I'm going to do this, knowing that the normal distribution tables give us to the area to the left of any positive value of Z, is to take another standardized normal distribution. I'm going to look at the area to the left of Z equaling 1.5, this area here then, okay? And what I'm going to do is take away the area to the left of zero. In other words, that's going to be 0 0.5. And that's just going to leave me with this column in here, okay, between 0 and 1.5. And then all I've got to do is just double it, okay, and that will give me the two columns there, okay, either side of the 0. So if I write this in here, this is going to be working out twice the probability of Z being less than 1.5, okay, minus 0.5. Just squeeze that in there, minus 0.5. Okay, the 0.5 coming from the area to the left of zero. So that gives me that column in there between zero and 1.5. That's that part inside the square brackets, and then I double it to get that area. So from tables, if you look up the probability of being less than 1.5, got 1.50 here, it's 0 0.9332. So what we've got then is two times all of 0.9332 minus 0.5. And if you work that out, you end up with 0.8 six six four and to three significant figures then that's 0 0.866 to three significant figures 3sf okay so i hope that's given you some idea if that caused any problems okay